Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, you got here just in time. We got another fun park adventure coming up. I'm currently set up at Cheney State Park, Kansas, Cheney Reservoir. But we're done here. We visited with the kids and now we're gonna start heading back south. Have a great one lined up for this week. We're gonna drive about three hours for us. And in YouTube time, it'll be about 30 seconds. We're headed down to Corps of Engineer Lake and we're gonna go visit Coon Creek Cove. <laughs> That's right, we're headed to Coon Creek Cove. So let's go. on Call Lake. And I realized as we were driving in through rural Oklahoma that the KAW, Call Reservoir, is, there, there's a, a Native American tribe, the Call, the Calls, KAW tribe. So that's where that name came from. So this is a Corps of Engineer campground. And on recreation.gov, I actually have the recreation.gov app. And yesterday when we decided to do, because we were supposed to be spending three nights up in Kansas, but we decided to, well, to leave a little early. So recreation.gov showed a large number of sites that were first come, first served. I was not able to reserve a site for tonight because they're all identified as first come, first served. So our, we arrive, we have no way to pay. We're at a first come first serve site, according to the website and, and at the front gate, there's, there's nobody there. And it says, make your reservations by calling the number. We called the number and sat on hold forever or go to the website. We did that and it says first come first serve. There's no, no way to pay. <laughs> so we're, we're looking at the post and it says reserved site number 40 16th of September to the 20th of September for James I don't know how that works <laughs> anyway we're in site number 40 for the moment that may change site number 40 we're lakeside. Hoo-hoo! Nice big shade tree. It is a 30 amp site. Very level. Of course, we're, let's, let's talk about power. We're 30 amp only. 30 amp and water. Unfortunately, the temperature tonight is supposed to be in the low 60s. So we, we don't, we're not going to need both air conditioners. Right now it's very pleasant. Ample firewood if you wanted to build a fire. And a lake view. We're, we're going to be rolling out of here early in the morning. So I'm not even, I'm not deploying, not deploying any of my toys. We have, I guess, the cooking platform, a charcoal cooker, fire ring, and a picnic table. A beautiful sight. I'm gonna grab a bite of lunch, and then we'll go see some stuff. So we got to the bottom of the mystery here at Coon Creek, Coon Creek Cove. We got to the bottom of the mystery. Seems that, uh, they no longer have a gate attendant. That position became available. And since they don't have a gate attendant, they've gone to 
first available and for whatever reason the website doesn't like first available we're using the pay envelope unfortunately we brought cash so that we can put something in the pay envelope got a little red deployed so let's go see some stuff call lake you probably can't see them but if you if you see all these little white dots those are all pelicans call lake is on the arkansas river and i'm just betting in times of very heavy rain this lake actually fills up to where we're standing that would be a lot of water all right let's go see some more stuff well now isn't this something nice we're in coon creek campground and they have a coon creek playground this was made possible by public-private partnership from all these folks. Call City on beautiful Call Lake and check that out. So if the kids get tired of playing in the water and they're driving you nuts, you can bring them over here and let them burn off all that energy. All right, let's go see a boat ramp. Here we are at the boat ramp. Coon Creek Cove Campground. Coon 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 Creek Cove Campground has a boat ramp. And as you can tell, sometimes it gets flooded and covered by water. Hopefully not while I'm here. Gonna be a little rough ride. There we go. What do you think? Shall we do it? Gotta be real careful going down this one. Ah, we're not gonna do it. I don't wanna take any chances. We'll walk it. So that gentleman that was coming up with the ice chest, he said he caught 29 catfish that averaged about 10 pounds. Water's very muddy. Call Reservoir. Not a whole lot of stuff here. Let's go see what else we can find. Now you know, you know when your YouTube, you know when your YouTube host is getting is running out of things to talk about, when about the only thing there is to talk about are limestone fence posts. <laughs> Actually, Sasnack, the YouTuber, the the YouTube channel, Stan over at Sasnack, he did a great job talking about the the limestone fence posts on one of his one of his blogs vlogs, on one of his vlogs. All right, let's go back to camp. I'm getting hungry.
Cove Campground. Say that three times fast. <sighs> Sitting here in my campsite after finishing the scooter run. And I was just really admiring this beautiful campsite. Campsite number 40 is almost the perfect campsite. Porch faces the the view. You get to look at the beautiful lake. Sunset. We're facing west. We have three trees to give us shade during the hottest part of the day. There's one other side over there, but there's nobody in it. But we're at such an angle that we would would be pretty private if there was anybody in that campsite anyway. And there's no one in that direction. And there's no one in that direction. <laughs> That's almost perfect. It's level. Doesn't have a concrete pad. And it's only 30 amp. Those are the only faults that I can find. So keep that in mind if you're coming to Coon Creek Cove Campground, site number 40. Put that in your book. That's the one you want. Unless you want to be up on the hill where there's a more majestic view to the east. of. If, if you want a good sunrise, then you need to be over there. I like a good sunset. More to come. I don't know how well it's coming through, but all the pelicans have just come flying in. Thousands. Good morning. Man, and what a beautiful morning it is. Here at Coon Creek Cove Campground. Corps of Engineer Campground on Lake Call. I guess this would be considered. I guess this would be considered Northern Oklahoma. You know, uh, it's it, there's not a whole lot going on here other than camping and fishing, and the camping is delightful. It was so quiet last night. The park is practically empty. Weather is wonderful. A little bit, a little bit of goosebump chill this morning, but man, it's just beautiful. Look at that. Give you a summary about Coon Creek Cove Campground. Takes a while to say that name. I like it. I definitely will keep this on the on the books as a fantastic waypoint stop if I'm headed. When, when I'm headed back north or headed back south, this will be a great place to spend the night. A little bit off the beaten track, but well worth the little extra drive to get here. And I think I could see myself spending several days camping and fishing here. Coon Creek Cove Campground, put it on your books. You might want to come check this out. Cost $10 with our National Parks Pass. Uh, cell service was, uh, we had two bars on the cell phone if we were in the coach. The tower is that way, south, south 
by southeast over by the town of Call. I didn't put up the antenna. We didn't need to have a whole lot of internet access or phone conversations yesterday. But we're done here at Lake Call. We're gonna head south. We're gonna pay a visit to Buckhorn Creek Campground on, where is that? <laughs> Lake of the Arbuckles in the Arbuckle Mountains. Chickasaw National Park, no. Chickasaw National Recreation Area, Lake of the Arbuckles, Buckhorn Creek Campground. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, man, I sure appreciate you. This, that's why I do what I do. And for my patrons, y'all rock. All right, we're done. Y'all come back now, you hear?